Legendary TV host Bob Barker has died at 99 as confirmed by his longtime publicist, Roger Neal. He passed from natural causes in his longtime Hollywood Hills home. It is with profound sadness that we announce that the world's greatest MC who ever lived, Bob Barker, has left us, Neal said in a statement obtained by NBC News. Barker's girlfriend, Nancy Burnett, broke her silence to say that she is so proud of the trailblazing work they did together to expose the cruelty to animals in the entertainment industry and including working to improve the plight of abused and exploited animals in the United States and internationally. We were great friends over these 40 years. He will be missed, his partner, 79, said in her own statement, obtained by People. Before that, Bob had taken over as host of Truth or Consequences in 1956. The MC, born Robert William Barker, was born in Darrington, Washington, on December 12, 1923. When he was six years old, he moved to Mission, South Dakota, to live on a Sioux Indian reservation with his mom, according to NBC. The move came after Byron John Barker tragically died in a workplace accident. His mother, Matilda Kent Tarleton, who was a schoolteacher, relocated to Missouri after she remarried. Near the end of World War II, Bob served two years in the Navy. He then went back to Missouri, where he attended Drury College and completed a degree in economics. From there, Barker was hired at a Florida radio station. Moving to Burbank, California in 1950, he helmed a radio program called The Bob Barker Show. Six years later, he Barker, he became host of Truth or Consequences, keeping the gig for 18 years until the show ended. He held multiple jobs in tandem, including a two-decade run as the host of the Miss Universe and Miss America pageants. He was also presenter of the New Year's Day Tournament of Roses Parade for a long stretch beginning in 1969. Barker was married once to his high school sweetheart Dorothy Jo Gideon from 1945 until her death in 1981. He is survived by half-brother Kent Valandra, half-nephews Robert Valandra and Chip Valandra, and half-niece Vicki Valandra Kelly. Throughout his career, Bob was awarded 19 Daytime Emmy and received an Emmy Lifetime Achievement Award in 1999. Bob, an animal rights activist, famously ended each episode of The Price is Right urging the audience to help control the pet population, have your pets spayed or neutered, in 1995, he founded called charity called the DJ and T Foundation, named after his wife and her mother, which provided services for pet owners. And when fur coats were being gifted as prizes on The Price is Right, he said he went to Mark Goodson and told him I didn't want to be on the stage with these fur coats. So he took fur coats off our show, Bob said in a 2013 CBS This Morning interview.